Hey guys, Colin Warren here, and today I'm bringing you another tutorial for the Introduction to Music Production Coursera course. Uh, for those of you who don't know me, I am a 16-year-old DJ slash producer hailing from Seattle. Uh, I go under the name of DJ Vu for when I DJ produce. And yeah, that's pretty much all you need to know about me. Anyways, today's topic that, we'll be cover that we will be covering is uh, oscillator controls, specifically the oscillator controls on the Silent One plugin. We will also be comparing it to the oscillator control or the oscillator plugin Mr. Loudon used in his tutorial. Anyways, the five main components we'll be covering in this tutorial is the, where the oscillator wave is located, where the oscillator frequency is located, where the filter type is located, where the filter resonance is located, and where the amplitude envelope or the attack sustain decay or release envelope is located. First, the oscillator uh, wave control is low. There's actually on Silent One. There's four of them, but they all they're all pretty much copies of, or yeah, the clones of each other. So if you know one, you know them all. So basically, the wave on each of these located right about the bottom middle. You can go up to them, left click, change it. So if you want a triangle wave, you can click that. Or if you want to change it to a uh, variation of a pulse wave, you can do that. Go around change all of them in different ways to get, you know, all the timbres of each different um, synthesizer wave going to get, you know, your, your given sound. And that's uh, generally where the oscillator waves are located. The oscillator frequency is a little bit, it's not as obvious, but once you see it, you'll be like, oh, okay, that makes sense. So the oscillator frequency is right here. Why there isn't like a numerical value, for example, like, oh, you can, let's say this oscillator starts at 261 uh, hertz is that this uh, plugin sorts it by octaves. So for, you know, I'm not sure if you guys know this, but on a piano, each each hammer, when it hits down, has a different frequency it's spinning at, no matter what. So for example, your middle C would be spinning at, I think about, or uh, modulating at about 261 hertz, whereas an octave, if you were to go an octave up, it would modulate at twice that, or 523 hertz. So that's pretty much what these ones do, and the notes down below allow it, allow you to get down to a more exact um, hertz. But yeah, that's generally where the oscillator frequency is. Uh, the filter type uh, is a little bit more complicated, although it's not too much. On silent, there's a overall filter control, which is automatically low pass. You cannot change that. It's a low pass filter. And then there's a, uh, fil there's a more subset, I guess you could call it subset filter control, where there's two various, there's two filter controls which control uh, there's a filter A, which controls part A oscillators, or uh, yeah, different waves, and part B filter controls the part B uh, oscillators. So if you wanted to go in and to filter A, you could go here, set, change it to a low pass, band pass, etc. You go in there, you can do that the same to the other side. And that's generally where the uh, filters are located. The filter res uh, filter frequency, same thing. On the overall thing, there's a big, huge, massive uh, filter control cutoff, which is located, big knob, you can't miss it, this thing right here, and each of these sub filters for part A and part B, they each have their own individual cutoff. Uh, for filter resonance, same thing, uh, the main one has its own big huge uh, master resonance knob, whereas each part A and part B have their own uh, filter A and filter B resonance knobs. It gives you more, of, you know, a uh, down to the ground control. Now the last thing we want to cover is the amplitude envelope, or the uh, attack decay sustain and release. And unlike the filter control, there is no master amplitude envelope. Uh, for part A, it has its own amplitude envelope, part B has its own amplitude envelope, and neither two are routed to the same, there is no uh, amplitude envelope which both of these are routed to. So pretty much if you wanted to get uh, the same envelope going on each of them, they actually made up for this pretty easy, so if you were to set an a uh, amplitude envelope here. You want to get over here. Just hit this copy button, paste, and you got it. So yeah, I think yeah, that's about it. That's all we have to cover today. Uh, in comparison to Mr. Loudon's, there's only really two big differences. Uh, the big one main difference is that there's more options for waves. So on his, I think there's only like five or six. Uh, on here, I think there's like eight. Or correct me if I'm wrong, but I think there's about eight different options. There's like a few variations of the high pulse, which or the pulse, which would make, uh, which would yeah, it makes sense why there's so many. And it's, uh, the silence, this plugin is less visual, whereas Mr. Loudon's, you know, gives you a, a visual picture of what's going on. 
So those are the, really the ba main two big differences that I'll cover today. There's probably more, but those are the really main uh, two differences. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Uh, this is Colin Warren signing out. Have a great day.